And for the first time, members of Congress have tested positive for the coronavirus. Florida Republican Mario diaz Balart and Utah Democrat Ben McAdams both under self-quarantine this morning. Hoda. All right, Savannah. In fact, uh, we have Congressman McAdams joining us now from his home in Salt Lake City. Good morning, Congressman McAdams. First question, just how are you feeling this morning? Good morning, Hoda. I'm, uh, I'm feeling pretty bad. I think this is probably the worst cold I've ever had, but we're getting by. Tell me about your symptoms. What do you have? What, what are the symptoms of coronavirus for you? Yeah, so it started out on Saturday afternoon, evening, where I was uh, I was feeling sick, but it was pretty mild at the time. I, I contacted a doctor who said that my symptoms didn't justify testing when I had a temperature of about 100 and a, and a cough, um, but that I should uh, stay in touch and if I got worse. So on Monday night going into Tuesday, my symptoms really took a turn for the worse. Uh, I had a, a temperature of about 103. Um, my lungs were really constricted. Uh, I felt like I had a belt around my chest, and so I couldn't couldn't breathe deeply, and I uh, contacted my doctor then, and, and he said that um, based on the, my symptoms, uh, they had aggravated so significantly that it made sense for me to get tested. So I contacted the local clinic here and, uh, and went up and got tested. And you, you got your wife and your four kids in the house there. I guess you guys are doing your social distancing there as well, huh? Yeah, we were social distancing. Now it's a it's a full on quarantine. We are um, not leaving the house for anything. We want to, you know, follow the CDC guidelines to the T to make sure that we don't take any risks uh, to put anybody else uh, at All risk right. of exposure of anybody else. Let's break this down because Saturday morning Congress was in session and they were having a vote. There were 400 members of Congress there. Uh, Saturday, Representative Diaz Ballard of Florida started feeling kind of crummy. He was diagnosed, like you said, on Saturday night. You after you got home, you were feeling kind of crummy. You were diagnosed. How concerned are you for all of those members of Congress who were with you and voting on that Saturday? I think I think we are concerned. So what the what I've been told by uh, the House physician is that um, anyone who had close contact with me from Friday onward uh, should be uh, should be concerned and, and should probably um, uh, take take precautions. So there aren't a lot of members with whom I had close contact, and they said that um, it, not just walking onto the floor and voting probably doesn't quanti- qualify as as uh, a risk to someone. But the p- members with whom I had close contact, um, yeah, there's a, there's a concern there. It's really important for Congress to continue to do business during these difficult times. And if other members of Congress end up getting sick like you guys, how do you expect business to continue? Yeah, I think that's a that's a great question. You know, I am uh, home at least for two weeks, and and the few members that I had uh, contact with on, in that period probably should be quarantined as well. And so it's uh, it, it does place a limit on uh, the ability of Congress to to get stuff done. Right now, I don't think it it, it get, approaches the level of of having a quorum. But certainly, where we've limited social gatherings to no more than ten, um, it's something we should think about with Congress having 435 members and. Uh, and well, gathering for votes. Well, you got to do things, right? You got to get business yeah. done. So, would you do remote voting? Like, what, what's what's the answer there? Yeah, so remote voting is not currently allowed under House rules. Mm. I think we need to consider um, changing that under certain provisions. I think there's value in having out, outside of the national emergency that we're in, having members of Congress come together and talk about bills before they vote on them. But perhaps under the uh, state of a, a declared national emergency, that's something that should be available to the Congress. Now, a couple of minutes ago, we just did a story on certain people being able to get tested. We talked about some athletes and we talked mm-hmm. about some uh, people who were in Hollywood and we talked about some Congress people. Um, what do you have to say to people who say, well, I actually kind of had sim- similar symptoms just like you, but they yeah. wouldn't test me, yet you got tested? Well, first of all, we have to expand the availability of testing. I, um, you know, I, when I first uh, was feeling symptoms, my doctor said that they didn't qualify for testing, that I should just quarantine, I should stay at home, but they weren't bad enough to, to uh, justify a test. And fortunately, I'm able to work from home, but I think of other people who, who aren't able to work from home, and there were times where I was really sick, and there were times where I felt better, and I can imagine somebody having the temptation to get out and, and to go to work. And, and that's why we've got to get tests earlier to people. It shouldn't be when symptoms, like mine, when symptoms are so bad uh, that it justifies a test. We should have a, an abundancy of tests so that people can get tested earlier and then uh, and more rigorously adhere to the quarantine so we can stop the spread of this sickness. All right, Congressman Ben McAdams, we wish you all the best. We're glad you're home and safe and keep us updated on your condition, okay? Thank you for waking up super early this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you.